Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another show of This and That. With your host, Mr. 357. I have a special guest here with me tonight. Please introduce yourself, ma'am. This is Princess Alicia, a.k.a. Alicia Landis. Let's hear it for Princess Alicia. She's also a member of the GEW Universe and I believe a bunch of others. So, Alicia, how are you doing today? I'm pretty tired, but I'm hanging in there. <laughs> hanging in there, right? Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Trust me, it's... It's like that over here too. I work, you know. And... Oh my gosh! I've been up since four thirty this morning, California time. It's it's not pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You guys are how many hours behind? I'm sorry, what? How many hours behind New York are you guys? We're three hours behind. Three hours. Yikes. Hopefully not too long because when my mom and I move to Delaware, we will be in the same time zone. Oh, that's nice. That's that's. Here, yeah. That's exciting. You're looking forward to that, huh? Yeah. Nice, nice. So well, yeah. So. For me. Yeah. So I was gonna start it off with well, this and that. So, uh, how does it feel to be a member of the GW community? Oh my. How do you goodness. like it so far? It feels great. Um, my mom character who, who I also play um, Queen Jennifer because my mom in real life can't my mom in real life can't do the promo work very well um, and yes she, she did give me permission to speak on her on her behalf so that's pretty cool um, Queen Jennifer had um, also debuted in um, FEW uh, I think it was about a week or two ago I don't remember I'll have to go back in, into that but yeah um if you want to know our backstory, now sure, let's hear it. That's about... that's the whole point of this. Yep, absolutely. That's that's hear it. That's the well, whole point of this not. whole this and that. Yeah, not not only yeah, no one knows this. My mom and I started a company called WSW, which is called Warrior and Survivor Wrestling because we believe in in women's health. Um, we believe in all different walks of life who is a warrior and a survivor of, of, of pretty much anything. We found right. out that WSW might be going a little bit further than the E-Fed world. Come to okay. find out. I don't know. Looking forward to seeing the WSW community pop off. That's, that sounds great. That sounds great. Tell us a little more. We may also be a real life business by the year 2027. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Well, because um, we found out um, as of of today um, that WSW has been legally trademarked for 20 years. Okay, so you guys made paperwork and made the made the name official, so it's officially yes, um, your name. Yeah, I don't know if you heard of uh, Joseph Lutz. He goes by G um, in, in the Fed world. He's actually okay. a real life professional wrestler, and he actually uh, went and talked to, to to some pretty good friends of his, and they were able to allow him to make WSW both practically hopefully in both RP and in real life. That sounds amazing. It, it is. It is. And we had no idea because like I said I first started doing WSW through um through 2K uh WWE 2K18, excuse me. And okay. then and then we switched over to QK22. Um, but I had to have some help because I didn't have a console or the game at that time. And I didn't want WSW to die because a lot of people don't know this. My mom is a stage one double mastectomy, breast cancer survivor, warrior, and continued fighter of a very aggressive breast cancer. 
and that's oh, how yeah. the stripper came to be. Then with me, I am a stage four warrior, fighter, and survivor of endometriosis. Oh so, my god! Right? Yeah. It's it's yeah no it's it's incredible that that's the strength of you women. You know, first I want to say God bless you and your mother. You know, mm. all your struggles and you know nothing but the best for you guys always. Uh, but yeah, that's that sounds pretty amazing. It's like you guys are you're pretty much standing up for for women who are in need and who've been suffering through you know any serious issues and you know health issues in life. So which which is a positive thinking, you know. You take in a video game, which a lot of a lot of people, I'm talking about millions of people, kids, and even people our age, you know, and. Mm-hmm. They buy the game and and you you know they make they make it a movement out of something, which it's 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 amazing. Yeah, I can't even describe how how lovely and amazing these these things are. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's different. It's, yeah, and 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 I would like to point out too um, the titles that that I made in the game. Um, I wish it happened in real life because the rest of the world today does not recognize endometriosis as a real life disease correct as people think it's going to be all in our heads and th- they're going to think that we're making things up and we believe in spreading awareness now they do recognize breast cancer however they don't always recognize like diseases such as scleroderma or um or other hidden diseases that people correct. don't know about and correct. we even spreading awareness we believe in letting people know hey we're doing this for a reason because life's too short not everyone's gonna know what our story is gonna be about and the thing of it is dvd yeah i just 40 years old in real life i just turned 40 and okay i've always been the person that's not afraid to speak my mind and that's why I created Princess Alicia for a reason. Princess Alicia is like a badass in like, but she's like me in many ways. She's not afraid. She's right. she's determined. She is a fighter. She is a warrior, and she's a survivor. And with that move that I that my character did tonight um, in GEW, I now normally that's called the the uh, comedian destroyer but in my version it's called the warrior destroyer nice and then it, right. like, so you have your you have your own finisher basically you you you're living your real life through this character in in the e fed in the e fed world you can say mm-hmm. because it's pretty much a world there's a whole universe of this and this different universes we don't want to get into that but you know geek that's geek talk we'll save that for another time but it's, that's amazing how you can just, you know, you take your character and you put him in the game and you're somebody that you're yourself or you just role playing this character as somebody you see in your mind or somebody that you probably looked up to and you want, and he's figured, you know what, I'm going to be that person, you know? And yes, that's absolutely. amazing how you carry your characters out there because you know what is crazy? That every time we create these characters, we create these characters and we we i don't know the, we take the role playing to the level where it's like it brings the kid inside of us out you get what mm-hmm. i'm saying so yeah. that's that's why I, li- I like participating in this in this uh universal thing that we do as well yeah and i was thinking too if um if aj or sadie aka uh, a dot or z dot or first lady um Right, no, you could, you could, you, they, they could be named by regular names. Because in here, I'm not a, I'm not my, I'm not my DVD character. You know, um, Daniel, yeah. this, we're going straight to the point. I'm asking you how you feel about your character and how you. What's as a matter of fact, the next question is actually what, where do you see your character going now? Now that you know you caught yourself a GW contract, you, know, you started off in the FEW, which is the, it's like an independent. Right, I know exactly you know, what it is. It, Right. It's like a version of NXT. Um, basically, I mm-hmm. left. Um, well, well Priscilla like, left uh, GEW as the current uh, Queen of Extreme Champion. But 
um, unfortunately had to give it up because of moving up to the main roster. Um, she does right. have a faction called the Royal Besties, um, which was practically my idea. Um, who, wanted, who are these Royal Besties? Well, basically, the Royal Besties is like um, her her friends, um, her mother. Now, there's a backstory between myself and Brandy Mullen. Who, the character, like, not not the character, but the person behind the character. Um, I see. We started off as going to church together. Um, okay. We both were part of the um, the special needs community because um, I'm all, yeah because we're also um, dealing with autism and, and other uh, special needs. Um, Shout out uh, to uh, autism uh, awareness as well. Yeah, autism awareness exactly. Um, my mother's also autistic, but she's able to drive. As, okay. But unfortunately, I can't unless it, unless it's a go kart or an Autopia car or or a bumper belt or a bumper car. That that's something I, I can do on my own. But as far as a real life car station, no, I there's understand. no way. <laughs> um, I used to work at a grocery store um, from 2006 to 2013. Um, there's there was a store named Vaughn's, um, which was owned by Safeway up in Northern California. But the Vaughn's that I worked at was actually about 15, 20 minutes away from from where we currently live. Um, so, um, of course, being in Southern California, um, we're about 35 right. miles outside of Los Angeles. Um, nice. okay. We're going to go to our <laughs> first AEW show in June, but... Unfortunately, my mom had to go out of state to Delaware to um, to be with my sister and her family um, due to a family emergency. So, right. um, so I had to go, and, and I was bummed out because I had gotten the tickets. And, well, thinking, well, my family thought that I got it from a friend, and I did, and and of course I didn't. But um, the thing of it <laughs> is that um, yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, I have a hard time thinking right now because I'm really tired, but I'm, I'm no, sorry. No, I get it. Just, just interview, it, it. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. I appreciate you for coming on the show also because this is a new podcast. It's not only GW related. I'm just officially in the GW, you know, the staff. So I, I pretty much interview with you guys. And if you guys in another EPED and you want to shout them out here, you can, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and if um and sorry if we just had a train going by us we actually live like not even a few feet away from a train track um that's, that's nice i didn't even hear it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we have like the metro link going by us like every 20 minutes um oh. yeah so i was thinking if aj and sadie were thinking after hearing my story about a possible partnership okay because i because I'm, I'm more into supporting people that there's one to support us um, because that is our goal in life is because there's too much hate and not enough love in this world and we, we've been like of course my company has been stabbed in the back numerous times with people that we thought we trusted and, of course. and that, that supported us but of we course also there's, always, there's always snakes in the grass you always gotta remember that oh, and then some and then some yes um, yes our, our, our company is, is like um, is like you guys we, we, we treat our superstars like family we don't screw right. them over we, we're, we're, we fa- we're family orientated in GW right correct it's like you guys you, you're basically saying you're like you guys are family orientated right um, the, the only thing is, is that um, we have a hard time streaming our episodes um Especially like because I don't I don't stream on, on, on YouTube. I mostly stream on Twitch. Yes. And because of the internet situation, we barely do our streams from from our end, and that is why we have a guy who's willing to help us out, but unfortunately does not have all the titles that we currently have. Um, all together, we have. A, I understand. A, now the titles that we do offer are the the warrior title which is currently held by Dennis aka Savage Vega he is the yeah, he's the warrior champion. we have the Royal Kingdom Championship currently held by Miles Wadmore who is Princess Elisa's boyfriend um okay 
we also have um what else do we have um we i mean we, we got so many others it's not even funny um, so uh, yeah you guys <laughs> i get it no i get it it's uh it's too much to mention yeah i mean we, we do have uh what, oh no I'm, I'm sorry we also have the men's tag team championships we also have the men's <laughs> cruiserweight world title um, nice and then we have the women's version which which is the women's championship the women's tag the crystal diamond hardcore title now that title i will explain to you, that title is like our version of 24 7 title that has to be defended at every show and it's for females only until until we can come up with other titles that, that may be in place of that um we did retire the divas title and we did retire WSW and the World Heavyweight title. Um, and, okay. we, and we transitioned it, both titles, into the Warrior title. Um, that any, re- any reason why you retired those titles? I'm sorry, what now? I'm sorry? Uh, any reasons why you, did, you decided to retire these titles? Well, because we had other ideas for, for new titles. Um, the titles that will be revealed in January will be the Young Lions and Young Lioness Championships, which is like our, um, our like NXT versions of the titles. Um, you can have them up to four months and then you have to um, relinquish that title or those titles and go for a mid card title. I understand. So. I understand. No, that's, that's, yeah, I get it. That when you guys run your company the way you run your company, that's how it works, right? So. I mean, I mean, I didn't want to explain all the titles that we have, like right now. No, no, it's just that's fine. That's fine. Uh, right. Your your company it's it's on the it's on the rise right now, actually. So it's you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, uh, never seriously, never would have, never would we have thought that WSW would be the first company to to be trademarked and possibly be a real life business. Never would we thought of that. <laughs> right. Right. No, I get it. I get it. So uh, about that also, um, how do you feel about your G? Do you, do you have a GW storyline yet? Do you have anything uh, cooking in the works? You have, uh, like you said, in WSW, you have uh, Prince Alicia's boyfriend. You know what? Um, not right now. Not right now. Um, I do know that I'm still coming up with more ideas with my character. I do. Right. Well, I mean, I do want to tell you this though. He has special powers that no one knows about. Gotcha. I mean, and, and it actually started from WSW. Um, there was there was a storyline where Princess Alicia was backstage after because she was in the middle of a title match. Um. I guess she, I guess she was a title holder at that time, and okay. Nia Jax came from out of nowhere and attacked her during a match. Then, then the story unfolded more when when there was a backstage brawl of Nia Jax and Princess Alicia backstage, and Nia Jax throws her into the electrical panel, nearly electrocutes awesome. her, but she survives. Gotcha. So you you guys doing storylines like like that? Okay. Yes, that's, absolutely. That's awesome. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, that's crazy that you say that because uh, in, in the GW, from you know, from what I know, like I said, I'm part of like the staff, like uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, no. stuff like that. You know, I do promotion and stuff. I know. But, um, I know. You know, but. Uh, I see they have a lot of stories over there. Also, they have stories where uh, there've been there've been clones coming around. Now it's um, you know, we have some like demons and uh, you know, it's a lot of things. Right. It's, I will a, it's a lot of stuff. Right. right. I will. Say, right. I will say this though. Um, we had that storyline in WSW yes. where Princess Alicia had a dark version of her. Um. She was involved in a devilish family um, that Dakota, aka um, Kevin Sinister, Kevin Stryker, um, started off with. Jody, awesome. aka Damien Cross, was also part of that. Um, Jocelyn Havoc, um, 
is, a- is actually our Girl Power GM. Um, yeah, because we have Girl Power for our female show, and then we have Combat Zone for our male show. Um, Jody is is also part owner. Uh, Joseph, aka uh, GD, is part owner. My mother's part owner. I'm I'm owner. And then um, and then there's many others like who who have helped out with. And I will say that that we are a great team. Now, as but as time went on, like. Cause I figured, cause I've never been a heel before, like, or, or right. I wasn't sure if I was going to feel comfortable being a heel. So I tried it for a little bit. Yeah, I did it's always, always, it's but always I'm like that. It's, it. you always have to, you always have to go heel sometimes to, to make your character pop. You know, if your character right. doesn't pop, then it doesn't work. Yeah. Right. right. But at the same time, like, I'm not, like, I wasn't, I wasn't really the, the heel type, <laughs> to be honest. Right. Right, no, it, it happens. So, some of us, I, some of us are not cut out for it. Right, and then, and then as time went on, Princess, yeah, yeah, the Dark Princess, which was my heel character, ended up turning good again, and we actually named her uh, Princess Suzanne. And funny enough, Princess Suzanne is actually named after my middle name. Oh, nice! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's named after my middle name. It's so funny. But, I mean, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I just wanted to let you know the whole entire backstory of... And gotcha. then, of course, um, we got the American Gladiators, um, which is like our version... Yeah, which is actually um, Alicia Diamond and Jennifer Ice. It actually started out in MUW, which is Madness and Leaf Wrestling. And at that time, I wanted... Um, yeah, because I think the first time I started betting was um, was a fed that we were both involved in called um, QZW, which was Quarantine Zone Wrestling, now known as uh, Crocodile Pro Wrestling, um, through a friend of oh, ours. Okay. Through. And I was under my my name's my name's sick name Alicia Landis. Um, my mother, however, she was not known as Jennifer Barham. She was known as Jennifer Disney because we're both into Disney. <laughs> okay, that that's yeah. that's awesome. So Disney, yeah, Disney, that's Disney, 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 So yeah, because my birthday just yeah. passed on the second, and so have, oh, happy God. belated birthday, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to think of what else to say without my brain being all fried up. <laughs> uh, it's all right. I get it. You're tired. You know, you had a long day. It's well, you know, we just make it sweet and short. You know, it doesn't. It works. Like I said, man, I appreciate you for coming also, you know, because uh, I like to get inside the details of uh, also the newcomers. Because, you know, last week I interviewed uh, RJ Bombshell. I don't know if you're familiar with RJ yeah, Bombshell. I yeah, well, it's a, it's a good guy, man. He's, you know, he's he's out there putting in the work too, just like you and everyone else who's, who's a part of this. Yeah, Nicholas, aka Erebus, nice guy. I actually spoke to him the other day. Um, and he actually shared his story about how, how we met a few wrestlers and it's funny because the promo work that I also do pretty well is um, I actually studied through Vicky Guerrero um, which I've known since 2019 <laughs> right also that's <laughs> that, shout out to Vicky that. Guerrero man she, she yeah, made a big girl, impact love you, girl. Oh, love you. Um, and if anyone's interested in checking me out um, I don't like I try, I try to stream wrestling games as much as I can, but I'm more of a retro gamer than anything else. Um, right. You okay. Can catch me on Twitch under Alicia Warrior Princess. Um, you can catch me on Twitter under Endo Survivor Two Eight Two, which is the handle that you see on uh, in my characters. Uh, yeah, yeah, on my characters. Um, okay. Uh, you can catch me on Instagram under Warrior Princess One One Eight Two, and then of course you can catch me on Facebook. Awesome. There you have it. Alicia Landis, aka Princess Alicia in GEW. It's coming out strong since the debut of the pay per view. That was amazing. You made a debut before the pay per view, which, like I said, you know, it's a NXT version of GEW. Right. Which, you know, I so, mean, but a it's still. Like a warrior. <laughs> right, right. And you did amazing in your the, the debut, you did amazing in the pay per view. Uh, I mean, you came out swinging. You had your team down. Also, you went one on one with the 
Princess of GW. Shout out to Miss Dance Winter. You know, Miss and Dance, uh, you have my complete uh, respect, girl. You you really awesome. do. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, and you know, and you know and, what I will say, Daniel. No matter what, what? happens, I am always going to be known as the endometriosis awareness champion because of what happened in real life. Because not not everyone else knows this, but I nearly died from surgery twice. Oh man, God bless you. Yeah, so um, that's why I, I made that. I made the endo title um, the way it was, and then, and then of course my mom dealing, dealing with breast cancer, especially on my sister's birthday that happened a couple of years ago. I made that title yeah, for her it's as tough. well. It, 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 it represents something personal, so I understand you coming out with it and showing it to the whole, to the universe, you know, to the whole, to the world watching, paying attention. Also, remember DW, a lot of kids and a lot of young young people watch the show, you know, and uh, it's a little raw sometimes for the person and stuff, but, you know, that's what they do in backstage and that's what they do in, in the entertainment business. So, you know, it all comes with it. As long as yeah, you I said, mean, you're I out will, there as a warrior, you can take it, right? Yeah, I mean, I will also say this too. Um, for those that don't know or, or don't, Think that they have endometriosis uh please check yourself out um Absolutely. Always, have a, always have a second opinion um don't be afraid to share your story spread awareness be inspiration Absolutely. to people just like i am hey and if i can do it so can you absolutely shout out to that also man that's that's and then, and then i would and then if, if i have your permission can i uh, say a website where people can can look for more Absolutely. information. Okay, Absolutely. so Go ahead. if you if you want any additional information, um, there's a website that I highly recommend you guys check out. Um, it's through the Endometriosis Foundation of America, and it's in New York where you guys are at. So, okay. Um, if you're not familiar with with the Endo Foundation. Um, you can go to endofound.org and you can look it up um, and and uh, support your your local uh, endo survivor warrior fighter, no matter no matter who it is. There's Absolutely. 200 million women and girls worldwide that suffer and and practically some died from it. So it's a, it's so serious, folks. So if if you get a chance, please spread the love. You know, check out the website also. You know, if you have to make any donations, also you can make any donations. Um, yeah, man, I'm, just, I'm telling you, Alicia, she's she's out here, man. She's representing, and she's one tough warrior, in and out of the ring, in and out of the ring, folks. You better believe it. Awesome. Follow anything else? Channel, you, anything you want to like share? You'll be inspired. And sorry, Absolutely. I didn't even talk over you. No, guys, I'm sorry, guys. It's your time to talk. And you know, um, props to uh, to AJ and Sadie for for being so welcoming. Um, Dennis for being so welcoming. Um, you know, it's not every day that you get to meet nice people um, behind this, like that that do things behind the scenes. And if you guys ever need any additional help with 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 the especially with the women's division or the women's tag, please hook me up. I'll be more than happy to help. That's awesome. That's that's what we're looking for, actually, in DW. We're looking for more women talent for the women division so we can spice the women division. Because you, you can see the men's division is on fire as well. So. Yeah, and if you guys ever need any help from, from WSW talent, even if the side characters, hook me up. You gotcha. You, you hear that, folks? You hear that, GW? A. Jizu. Shout out to A. Jizu and Baker. That's First right. First lady. First Lady Baker, Sadie, love you. Awesome. Anything else you want to share to the to the listeners and anyone paying attention? I'm telling you, Princess Alicia, she's coming, folks. You know what? The only thing I can say is watch out, uh, Miss Dance, because I may be coming for your title sooner than you think. I'm no slouch. Ooh, you hear that, Miss Dance? She's coming. The Warrior Princess does not mess around. And that's why I'm known as the Warrior Princess in real life as well. Awesome. You don't wanna you wanna give a shout out to your big to the big timers in your in your WSW? 
They're also a part of GW as well. Because uh, no couple, you know. You want to give them a shout out here? So they can hear yeah, first. I'm gonna give a, yeah, I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Damian Cross, part of FEW, uh, two-time Forefathers champion. Uh, Ray Everett, now known as Christian Everett or Christian Omega, the former uh, Forefathers champion. Brandy Mullen, my girl, my real life friend. Love you. Um, of course, my mother as well. And then um, Jen and Candy Riley. Um, I know you don't have Facebook. Well, technically, uh, Candy actually does. I apologize. But Jen, she does not. But a big awesome. shout out to her and, and Candy for always being so supportive. Um, the American Gladiators might make a, uh, a debut. We don't know yet. You gotta see what they can do because the, they almost have the same moves as Princess Alicia. So we'll see. Okay. That's tough. Awesome. Again, Alicia, thank you for coming to This and That. I'm your host, Mr. 357, and you hear it here first. Alicia, Princess Alicia in GEW. Watch out. I'll be back. That's right. Alicia, thank you for coming. I appreciate you. Thank you, Daniel. Appreciate your time. No, no problem. Thank you so much. All right. Take Good night. Care.